Well, hi friends. Welcome to my channel, JP's Crochet. I'm Amber, and today is October the 24th. I should have known that. Yes, it was the 23rd. Um, but today, I was going to do something just slightly different, because I don't know. I truly woke up with nothing to say today. Maybe I'll find something. Who knows? Because yesterday, um, the only thing I worked on was the cow. And now I'm going to have to frog out around because I got done with it and went, this is the round I need to do in white. So, I'm going to frog it out and do it in white because I, what I, my plan was, let me just show it to you. It's not like done wrong or anything, it's just if I were to follow the same color pattern that I was wanting to, um, this round right here would be white, where it would stick out with, like, it'll be like this, where it basically kind of frames in week one, where, um, I need to just take out the one round And how far did I get with the single crochets? Or is it two two rounds? So that that's the thing though, is I would have to put in the two rounds. Um it's actually gonna be the last three rounds would be white for this one because the round that changes, that does the ridge would have to be white and then I would do the next two rounds in white because there's two rounds after this ridge that would be white. So I think it'll be okay because this is right here the full two rounds, or sorry, three rounds this is the beginning of the round right here. Um, this is the, this right here is three rounds of after the ridge. Well, including the ridge. So, the round that makes the ridge and then the two after it. So, that's what would be white on here. It'd be a little thicker than down here. So, I don't know. That or I just do this single crochet in white. What do I do? What do I do? Cause, okay, I gotta put this down cause it keeps catching on it. Um, I just don't know. Cause this is, this is what it looks like with the blue. It curls on itself a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to sit here and holding it and looking in the camera to see, get an idea. Because I have the white that makes that ridge pop. That's why I think I might do it here to make the blue pop. But then I would have to do another two rounds after the ridge in white. I wouldn't have to, but I'm just saying, like, Instead of going back to blue to, to green. <laughs> I don't know. I can never make choices for myself. <laughs> I can't see it until I've done it a little bit. So. I don't know. Very just kind of mm, day. I'm almost done with this orange on this blanket, but I thought I would sit here and crochet on it and try and talk to you guys about things. Itchy ear. Itchy ear. 
So the kids have had the last three days off of school because Monday, mother, my mother-in-law was here. And y'all don't get me wrong, I love her, I really do. Um, she's fun to have around, but it's the smoking. I just, it, when you're not used to it on a daily basis, like literally nobody around me smokes that I know of but her. And so when she's around, it's like, you know, I just have to, like, I feel bad because I have to avoid being around her because, not avoid it, but like, you know, not, she does it outside, she doesn't do it in the house, obviously, she would, <laughs> um, but when we're outside and the wind's blowing just right, I have to make sure I'm upwind of her, so it's not, you know, blowing at me constantly, so it's not a big deal, it's, you know, I make it work, but I love her, I do, but even my husband said he can only handle his mom a little bit at a time, which is fine. Some some parents are like that, you know? Um, but now the kids, the kids had that morning off because grandma was still here. Um, and so even though they sat on their butts and looked at the TV, you know, I gave them the morning off because she was still home or still here. And then Tuesday, was the youngest's birthday so of course we took the day off for the birthday and went to the zoo um and then we i should sit back and let you see what i'm doing here <laughs> um i'm gonna push this down just a little bit more there we go because i was like i don't need all this up here above my head um so Tuesday, we, you know, like I said, my husband took the day off and was home so for the youngest birthday. We went to the zoo and, you know, celebrated him. And then, um, so that, that was another day off. And well, yesterday was Bible study. So instead of making them do it while I wasn't here, I left them at home this time instead of taking them with me. Um, because, you know, really... The youngest is the only one that really needs adult supervision. Like, not needs it, but I feel better that he has an adult around because the three of them make it hard for me to trust to leave them at home because of how they, of how they, um, work together. Like... <laughs> They think because, you know, the parents aren't around, and, I, and I'm pretty sure this is typical of most kids, that, you know, mommy and daddy aren't around, and it's only, you know, the oldest here to watch us, so we're just going to do whatever we want, and she can't do anything about it, and, and of course she tries to be a parent to them, and, you know, tells them this is what mommy and daddy told me, and she does, she tries to be a good babysitter and, you know, make them follow the rules that she knows that they're supposed to do when, when I am home and what she knows that she's allowed to allow them when I'm not home. And it's just, I don't know, I just have a hard time, <clears throat> I don't know, leaving them at home <laughs> because the, the youngest and the, the two boys, they just, and especially the youngest, he's, He's a handful, even for adults. So, took him 20 minutes to apologize to a little girl last week in Bible study, which is what made me just went ahead and said, you know what? When I got pulled aside and told that my child is the one being the troublemaker, I went, well, I guess that's my, my sign that it's time to just leave him at home. I knew he was getting too old to be in childcare because they go to kindergarten. He is technically in first grade at, at Sunday school, but with homeschooling, you know, he's still kind of kindergarten level learning. So developmentally, he's not in a first grade, but age wise he is. 
And so, you know, he is a little bit bigger. He's a boy, so he's a little, he's a lot rougher, especially at his age. He's just a rough kid. And, you know, we try to make sure he's nice to his friends, you know, but allow him to, you know, be a boy and wrestle with his older siblings and, you know, stand his ground with them. We're like, you know, if you push his buttons, you're gonna get the, the tornado. So, um, anyway, yeah, they just, so yesterday was Bible study, so I left them at home. I went ahead and left them at home yesterday. I think they did okay. I think they did better than they've done before. And so they didn't have school yesterday. I could have made them do school while I was gone, but okay, one, who's gonna teach the youngest? I mean, my, my daughter would have done it, but I mean, that's not her job. <laughs> She's not the teacher, even though she would be. She, she'd do it if I asked her to, but. And you know, honestly, I don't know why I don't, I, why I didn't think of that. Because <clears throat> I would have loved it as a kid. And she loves to teach him and read to him and stuff anyway. So I could take advantage of that. <laughs> but no, I'm mom, I'm the teacher, you know, it's my job to teach him. And I mean, what we use to teach him right now isn't hard anyway, so she, it would be user friendly for her to use. And she's, you know, she's got a good head on her shoulders for the most part. For a kid, you know, she's still a kid. Got many years ahead of her before she's an adult. <laughs> Even though the state says she's an adult at 19, you know, her brain is still developing well after that. Um, well, so yeah, that's, that's why they've had the last three days off. And I love being able to homeschool them and do that because, you know, their counterparts were at school all week. Um, although the elementary school up the road, their sign says there's no school today or tomorrow. And then they... And then they start late on the 29th. Why the 29th? Like, that's the day before, like, two days before Halloween. Like, I guess they have to get prepared for Halloween. I don't know. But they're delayed starting on the 29th, is what it says. I'm wondering if that's not a... Not a typo, because it's one of those... <clears throat> I'm going to say old school signs where they have to change out the individual letters to make the message in the in the sign you know where they pull the they pull the door down or open the door or lift whatever however they open the door to the sign right and it's got these you know it's got like four or five l lines that you can slide these you know those black letters into the the clear plastic pieces with the black letters on them and you can make whatever message you want. A lot of churches use them and stuff. Um, a lot of like old sign, like you know, restaurant signs, McDonald's. A lot of signs still use them, but like, oh, I call it old school because it's been around since, gosh, forever, since signs have been signs. You know, before they did the printing and the digital ones, they used these anyway. So this school has one of those signs that you know lets people know of different, you know, days off and when they're starting school and all that stuff. So <laughs> all summer they had, have a great summer the whole time. It, nobody changed it. And it wasn't till like well into, gosh, I think it wasn't till October. They finally, till this month, they decided to finally change it to have a great fall. <laughs> And now they've changed it again already to the days off that I remember seeing. And so I'm just like, why are they having, they just had days off of school not too long ago, but 
Maybe it's this elementary school's turn to have the days off because um, they, because it's a big city and they don't want all the kids off at one time and, you know, doing all the teacher conferences at one time, I think they stagger things around here. I know for a fact they stagger spring break because we have three public school systems in our area public school districts um, and they each have their own spring break week I think if I remember correctly I know the two do but I can't remember if this other one staggers with those two or not or is there more than two there might be four no no there is four because there's the 60 district 66 I forgot about them too um, so I think there might be four public school systems districts here. Because we have OPS. Then we have MPS. And then we have BPS. And then I think we have District 66. I think. I don't know. I'm going to look into it later. Um, not important to you guys. Anyway, but I'm pretty sure we have like... For sure, we have two public school districts. Um, well, for sure we have four. I can tell you for sure we have four. I just don't remember. I know for a fact that at least two of them stagger their spring breaks. So that way all the kids aren't off at once, I guess. I don't know if that's the reason why they do it, but I'd be a lot of kids off in one week if they all had the same week. Because, you know, they're, with all the, all the districts around here and the population, it's pushing a million people in this area. So, whew, it's a lot of people. <laughs> I came from, in high school, from a small town of like 3,000 people to a city of um, almost a million people. It's crazy. So today, they're going to start school, or my kids are going to do school. And it's almost like a new school day, a new school year for us because, at least for two of them, um, my, old, my older two are starting, well, one of them starting a curriculum he's used in the past that he's been wanting to do. And I said, fine, whatever. You know, it's a good curriculum. I wouldn't have allowed him to do it before if I didn't. It's just, he spends a lot of time on the computer. But... It's, I, I've got it worked out where he does, you know, he does do offline work where he's writing and, you know, actually using pen and paper, not just all online, which he would love to do it all online and be done and he'd be done in like an hour, if that, on everything. Because some days with the math, part of it it's literally a game or two to learn a concept and then you move on however I'm adding to his math where he has to go and do a actual math lesson um, that's on the computer with a different curriculum and then he can come over and play with this other one and do the games and stuff so it does require a lot of approve this website, approve this website, approve this website with the curriculum that he uses because they utilize a lot because it's a free curriculum. Um, and you can almost get away with almost free with the curriculum because um, it's basically all online, but there is some printing that you have to do with some worksheets. And so it's, you know, you have to be able to buy the paper and the ink and the printer and all that stuff. So it's not a hundred percent free, but I mean, when it comes to, if you're homeschooling, you've got a printer for the most part. If most homeschool families have a printer and so they have paper and they have ink and all that and can afford to do that, to use a, use a printer and, you know, access to printers at a library is not too pricey though either anyway so it's 
dang near free. And they utilize a lot of, um, I'm, hopefully I'm using the right terminologies for this. They're using a lot of like free domain stuff, like, you know, um, for reading and all that. They use it from books that are like the McGuffey's that are free for them to access and, you know, put on the, create readable pages for the kids to use, like word for word, they don't leave anything out kind of thing. Um, and then like the math and stuff, like math and language, they use games from other websites that, and they use links that take them directly to the game. And um, yes, they can see all the other games and stuff on there, but the way my child's computer is set up, if he tries to go to any other links within the link, well, and first he has to get that first link approved. Like he sends a message request through the family link. It says this website is, you know, needs your parents' approval. And so it'll send the notification to me saying, so-and-so is trying to get this website approved and then you can review or deny it. And so um, I will do what I need to do to open up the website for him. And so, for them, if they both use it. And so, yeah, it, where was I going with that? It does, you could do it completely all online and not do anything, except it, with the science and history, there, there's a few printable worksheets. And with the math and language, there's a few printable worksheets too. So they're not always, you know, online, I guess. But what I do is I, the, the same curriculum um, has what they call an offline version of it, where you can utilize their curriculum that they've put together and they've put it into a printable, um, I don't have the book close by. They, they basically worked with a, like a printing company where, through Amazon, I think, um, where they, it's, you know, you can order these books where um, the curriculum's printed in the book. And so you can basically take their free curriculum offline for the most part. Now, like the science and the histories and the music and stuff like that, there's still some online part, uh, oh, there's still some online aspects that you still have to utilize. But like for their math and their language arts and their reading, you can take it all offline, 100%, um, because it's all printed in a workbook. And they're very low budget friendly, co like cost friendly books. I think I got all the books that my kid would need minus the science and the history because we're continuing from where we left off. So I didn't rebuy those. Um, we're just going to print off the worksheets as we go this time because I misplaced the first two that we had. So he doesn't have them anymore. So we have to just kind of start from where we think we left off and, <laughs> and go forward. So we're just going to do that instead of starting from the beginning again, which wouldn't hurt nothing. It's just science and history just relearning it again which honestly for him he probably should restart it <laughs> whatever it's fine um he's always gonna learn this stuff he's gonna learn this this he's doing biology yeah and early american no early history i think ancient history so it's not like he won't utilize this because what they do is they actually do they have like a level one through four and then they have a five through eight and so next year he'll do the five through eight. This year he's just doing one through four um, of those levels of those history and science because, and then they have like other histories and sciences he could do. So he still has a lot of it to learn and there's a lot of like cycling through it, which we actually have to complete a year to cycle through it. So, oh, you know, this is a crochet channel, yes, but you know, when you come to Amber's part of the street, you're going to get homeschooling and you're going to get, 
<laughs> uh, I got one row done on this. It's it's a slow process for me for some reason. And I'm really wanting to be done after this orange skein, but I don't know. I'll see. I'm going to look and see how big it is when I'm done with this orange skein to see if I want to be done with it and just use the other two skeins I have left of the orange and purple and make something else with it. Or do I want to fully commit to putting all six in one blanket? Because I, I will say though that with what I have, it looks like not quite long enough for like a bed it's definitely long enough to lay on you like this but with it sitting here like this it's you know just laying down it's not really folded over anything and it's just barely hitting the f like it's hovering above the floor about that far you know just a couple inches so it's not very long I'm 5'4 so it's not quite long enough to cover me from head to toe. Sitting in the chair it is, but I really feel like, I feel like I'm gonna end on the purple and, be, and call it good and just have the orange left. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Cause that way it could be like I wanted it to. Instead of orange being the hug, it's gonna be purple. It'll be her hug. So she's hugging Chris. <laughs> Although, you know, this is going to, I'm calling it Chris's hug because it's going to be like him hugging her too at the same time. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish the orange, put the purple on and call it a day. And then it'll be plenty long enough for her to cuddle in and snuggle and hug. And yeah, I think that's a good idea. So I'm going to get off of here. I did not think I would make it this long. I told you I was going to make it maybe a short one. I didn't have a whole lot to show you with crochet. So I hope you enjoyed my just random talking about my day, this my week, basically. Um, tomorrow, Marianne and I will be back again um, at 1 p.m. Central for our Finish It or Focus On It Fridays. I've come to enjoy just having that one live. I'm sure I'll have some pop-ups here and there, but I just I get through my week and go... <laughs> I haven't had a pop-up. Oh well, we'll have our Fridays. So, um, what was I gonna say? I did, I was on somebody's live, Lucas from, what's his channel name? Shoot. I, I can't remember his, his channel name for the life of me for some reason. Um, anyway, he was talking about how people have reached out to him to be on panels and stuff on their lives and stuff. And so we will see a lot more of him here in the future. And I said, well, if you're ever off, you know, at 1 p.m. on Fridays, you're more than welcome to come hang out on ours. <laughs> um, and he just was like, you know, it just depends on the day when he's able to. Because, you know, some days he works Fridays and some days he doesn't. So some weeks. So who knows? Maybe you'll see Lucas on our on our channel so I was gonna grab one of my tablets and look you know what I still can't I don't know why I can't so I want to find his name I will link it in the description but I I don't know I just want to look it up <laughs> what is his name it's Lucas something and if you're watching this, sorry. <laughs> I'm bad with channel names. Um, it's just Lucas Yarns. I knew I had it right in my head. I knew I had it right. Ugh, should trust my brain a little better than I do. <laughs> Lucas Yarns. So Lucas from Lucas Yarns. Um, I don't, n not this week, obviously, but you know, well, who knows, but, um, uh, it was, it was said in passing, he responded to it, and I'm sure he's long forgotten about it, but I will try to reach out to him and see if we can't get him on here someday, 
who knows when like i said it, it for him it all depended on the day so friends i hope you have a fantastic thursday oh it's thankful thursday let me throw that in there at the end oh my goodness thursday Whew. well I think, I think I mentioned it earlier. I am thankful that I'm able to homeschool my kids because we get to have the kind of days and weeks that we want, you know? We're not, not and I'm not bashing public school. I was a public school raised kid. Um, so I know, you know, like on some of these holidays, it was like, well, why don't we have the day off? And, you know, and it's just, it's just nice to be able to, my mother-in-law, you know, when family comes to visit, <clears throat> taking the day off and just being able to hang out with them and not worry about the kids being at school and them being here and all that stuff and then like birthdays we can take the day off and just go do what we want to do as a family celebrate that person and um yeah I just I'm beyond grateful for the life that I have right now like I cannot complain I have it so so nice and so easy compared to a lot of people just in my city in my country and the world and um i need to remember that you know like it could be a lot worse you could i could be sitting here struggling to have yarn in my house and i don't <laughs> much to my husband's dismay i have way more than he cares for because yeah, this stuff just sits here and doesn't get touched most of the time. <laughs> well, it's my my cotton and my kobu and my you know my my specialty yarn up here, like this thrift stuff right here. This, this amazing, yummy goodness right here. I'm still waiting on that to come this month from her, but I'm always very late at paying her and. <laughs> So, I am in no rush to get it. I'm just always anxious to get it. it. It'll get here when it gets here. And, you know, she's, I don't, I usually get really close to her shipping window when I pay. So, I know for a fact that, you know, I'm like, look. And I tell her, thank you for being willing to let me pay late and still get a, you know, still get my order in. And so, and you still fulfill it and send it out so <sighs> oh I know what noise I just heard it was the cat's machine for her food dispenser <laughs> Ooh, breakfast time for the key cat so I am going to work on frogging the little bit of blue off of that one cow I still need to get um week one done on the second one for my friend look it's still it's still in the state of I gotta fi fix it and and keep going with it which you know what I might sit here and do that who knows because that frogging of that part is eh. I got plenty of time till week three comes out so I might as well work on my second one and get it done because I really want to get this done for Christmas for my friend. I think, yeah. Uh, I think I'm happy with doing this instead of the Sophie's blanket. It's definitely easier. I will say that one. But it still has its challenges for me with this cow. So that's why it's... It's up there for me with Sophie's, you know, but Sophie's, I don't know. I like this one better. It's just, I don't know, it strikes my fancy better than the Sophie's. So <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, I'm going to put this one aside. Um, you know what? I started the row. I'm going to finish this row. I'm going to put this one down and then pick that one up and finish, or not finish, but put rounds on it so it's a beautiful day to be kind and positive and go make something beautiful and we'll see you on the next one friends bye